Welcome to Work Smarter TV. In this video, I will show you how to use basic formulas in Excel. I have the 2010 version. Uh, first, we have a new worksheet. Well, not quite. Let's just delete this stuff. It's from the last exercise, last video. All right. We have an empty worksheet and we'll create some data to use. Um, what shall we use? Car numbers. And mileage. So, um, we have car number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the first car has a mileage of 100,000. This one has 120,000. This one has 80,000. This one has only 800 miles, 300,000, uh, 200,000, 150,000, or oh, 15,000, fine, 300,000. And they, the other ones have also 100,000. All right. Um, the first formula we're going to use is something one you use very regularly. It's actually the sum, how to calculate the total of a range of cells. Well, there's always two ways in Excel to enter a formula. The first one is to just type it if you know it. And the second one is to use this button here. It says insert function. And you get a huge amount of formulas by default, it's only the math and trigonometry functions, but there's all kinds of different things that we will go over in later videos. But for now, we just select here the sum. And it displays here below, it displays the, syn displays the syntax of the formula. The sum, number one, uh, semicolon, number two, semicolon. We click it, and then you get... Um, uh, the table uh, displaying uh, the cell ranges. Now you can import them in, uh, use them in two ways. This is the uh, C3 double point C12, which is from until. So it includes all the cells in between. And it automatically guesses what you want to know. Well, with a sum, it's pretty easy to guess. You want to, to sum everything to go here to the total of everything that's above it. So we just click OK. And you can see here, you can see the total, which is quite a lot, actually. And here, you can, in the formula bar, you can see the syntax, how it's been used. And if I select the cell again, you can see it's still there. And if we change this one to 100,000, it will... Of course, this is the power of Excel. Automatically update the number, but the syntax, of course, is still the same. If I put a cursor here in the syntax, it will display with, a, in this case, a blue square, the cell range. And we can also change this, just like you could, would change a text box in Word or something. You can see you can move it around. And if we hit Enter now, it's, enter. it's empty. So we don't want it, so let's move it back. Just like that. And you can also drag and drop it. Now we can start at C8, and you see it automatically updates it. Excel is smart because it, it uh, says now, and you see in this little icon, it says the formula in the cell refers to a range that has additional numbers to it, adjacent to it. As in, hey, you're not selecting all the cells. You sure you want to do this? No, of course we're not. So we'll just change it back. If you want to type, you can just put a cursor anywhere in this formula where you want. And we change it back to three. Um, let's say we also want to calculate the average uh, of the mileage of these cars, and we'll do this, this different. We we I we know what this, the formula is. It's usually pretty straightforward. The formula for average is you guessed it, A V E R A G E. Ha. And then don't forget the uh, brackets. And we select this area, and we can now. If we want to finish it, we can just hit enter and Excel will guess, A, hey, you're done and you're forgetting a bracket, so I'll just add it for you. And again, you see it calculates the average of these, these things. Well, that's it for now. There's, of course, lots and lots more with we can do with formulas, but I thought, you know, start with the basics. I hope you find this video helpful. Um, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel or had a look on my site, worksmarter.tv. Uh, you can find a link below. Uh, and